Hey girl, you trying to hit this? Ugh, oh, you know exactly what I need. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy fucking Tuesday, bitches. It's, it's two girls, one blunt. Is it Tuesday? No. Every, <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time we do it, everyone's like, is it Tuesday when our podcast comes out on Tuesday? Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck? So fun? it's a Tuesday from the future. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is, it. yeah, so we're, this is a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> but happy Tuesday. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. Happy whatever fucking day it is, whatever time it is. It's always a good time to... Uh, smoke a blunt. It's always but either way, we have a great guest coming on today. I poached her from social media, from TikTok. I feel like I found you on TikTok. I think like, you did. A long time ago. Yeah. Before I got shadow banned and started losing all my followers. Same. I'm losing Damn. my followers like crazy. Um, but we have Gabby Lamb Super. on today. She's a stand up comedian out of LA. She has a podcast called Tea Time with you and Harper Rose. Did I get that mm-hmm. right? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Look at my stoner brain remembered that. Yeah, you make dope TikTok content. I think it's hilarious as fuck. Thanks, dude. Uh, I, it's oddly relatable. You know, <laughs> I just, you know, I feel like I'm talking to some. I'm like, I feel like we're friends through the camera screen, and that's yeah. what you should do on TikTok. And You're that's doing a really what, good right, job, right? So TikTok um, fucking sucks now. All your content's getting deleted. Oh, well, my I account just got banned permanently for the, the second time up. in a year. The second time this year, and there are people literally with their titties out. Like we've talked about this so many times because we're just that fucking heated. But yeah. like, I'll say. Say nothing and I get taken down. I'll literally, this, I was She'll sweeping. be wearing this, like, she'll be dressed like this and then it will be removed. Of course it will. Like, I look like a an innocent, you know, she's just got a lot of titties, but she could be from like a farm town. She's just got you know? titties, that's all. If you guys are like us and you're tired of burning your throat every time you take a hit, coughing attacks from all these crappy bongs, or if you just think that you deserve better than all the other glass companies, oh, you yeah. have to try an ice cold pipe bubbler or bong from freeze pipe freeze pipe makes their own unique glass pieces that's cool smoke by over 300 degrees you pop it right into the freezer take it out and you're going to take the biggest rip of your life without dying best of all it's not even crazy expensive you don't have to break the bank to buy one i know we love them we're so impressed with the company and the quality of the products freeze pipe makes it all Literally, pipes, bongs, bubblers, dab rings, everything. So go to thefreezepipe.com and use code 2G1B for 10% off your next order. Again, that's thefreezepipe.com using code 2G1B for 10% off your next order. We love you. We wouldn't steer you down the wrong road. This for sure is the right one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just angry moms who see you and think you're like 15. And then they're like, she has huge tits and we're trying to protect her. Yeah, I do kind of look like a minor. Yeah. She's been a mistake for them. you, though. <laughs> Good for you. Um, Let's see how long it lasts. I'm only 23. It works so. for that only Are you 23? Mm-hmm. You're basically a minor. Yeah, pretty much. How old mm-hmm. are you? 30. Oh. I'm 28. Are you 28? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys are minors. I'm, <laughs> I'm literally two years younger than you. So minor. it's 30 plus. Yeah, 30 plus. <laughs> okay. That's when you're geriatric. Oh, that, my God. <laughs> you go from, like... Teenager to geriatric, you like do. real fast. That's it. There's a what? When does that start? Like what time period? I feel like age in seventeen, life? you start going downhill in men's eyes. Oh, like 100%. oh, she's not a minor, minor. Like mm-mm, not interested. You're hot to men when you're eight to seventeen, mm-hmm. and then we just start getting <laughs> ugly and old. Don't get me started. Oh, the good old years. I feel when like I was sixteen. Yeah, yeah we all got yeah. hit on more. Yeah, that's my sure. when we were children. It's like true. cat called way more. Don't get me started on my whole fucking idea that all men are pedophiles. I mm. we could talk about it. We've talked Don't about because we you. we think not only are all men like pedophiles, they but are. all men are gay. <laughs> like yeah, all, all gay pedophiles. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they yeah, and they so hate they the, like yeah. little boys. They like I think. They like everything. I think they just want to have power over things, but they are also also secretly gay. Yeah. I think I'm openly gay. (laughs) It's not a secret. So you can just come out, men. You don't have to be, you know, in the closet and miserable and a bitch. No. No. They could never. They could simply never. They, they're they all they're all a little gay for each other. They love their bromances. I'm like, what are you doing on those camping trips? We all know. <laughs> we Ta- Talking about fucking kids and then fucking each other. And that's what yeah. they're jerks yeah. around the campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're so into like childhood nicknames still as adults. Yeah. Oh, like <laughs> it bruiser. reminds them of the good old days. It sure does. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it's always like boner or bruiser. Yeah. Or Clyde. I don't know. They're never boner. good nicknames. What's up, boner? <laughs> You would be a Clyde. I look like a horse. That's what I think of when I think of Clydesdale horses. Clip, clap, clip, clap. No. 
cut. You have a round face. Like a long face is like a like horse. Like a moon. Yeah, you're a moon. I am the sun and the stars. <laughs> I'm a thumb. <laughs> you're a thumb. Shut the fuck Anyone up. Anyone can be a thumb. You just have to like... My sister does it so well. She does. Really well. <laughs> well, you like, try, but you like, and then you like put a phone down here, and you go like this from this angle, and it literally just like gets a little bit bigger right there, and it looks like a thumb. Yeah, it's just one perfect. thing. Yeah, Tyler's bald. Yeah, so especially when she's bald, bald. She literally looks like an egg. Oh, your sister's like a bald? rocker, tatted, pixie cut. She's hot, girl. Okay, yeah. cute, cute, cute. And her she's name's Tyler. Cute. Tyler. Oh she's God, a musician. cute. Yeah, perfect. she changed her name. She got her name legally changed. What was her other name? Thank God she changed it to Tyler. Right? <laughs> yeah. Tyler's so much more fitting. Gotta go. She, she made the right choice. <laughs> She'd be really happy to hear you say oh that. Oh my God, She's good. like a new person and I never even met. Right? Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. It did take a while though for us to transition to calling her Tyler. My mom like also didn't accept it. She's really? Like, she's like, this is a phase. Sounds like your mom. My mom would always just say, it's a phase. My mom, my sister's like, I'm gay. She's like, you're not. My, or I was like, it's yeah. okay if you're gay. And then she'll be like, okay, I'm gay. And then she'll be like, no, my daughter doesn't eat pussy. My sister will be like, I eat pussy. <laughs> and then she'll be like, not gay. Yeah. Phase, phase, phase. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then finally, like, you know, everyone accepted it. I think it fits her so much better. It does. Yeah. You can't be, you can't be a lesbian named you're, it's Tyler. Yeah. No. If like you were going to be a lesbian, what would your lesbian name be? Gabby. The same name? Are you a lesbian <laughs> now? No, I'm not. Oh. See. Yeah. But if it was, that's what it would be. Okay. You just are who you are. Uh-huh. I like that. No, you know what? So you just name. like men. I like, I think I, you know, no, probably not, but I haven't like explored the other part. I haven't explored the gay part. The vagina part. Too much. Yeah. My middle name is Alan. So maybe I would go by Alan if I was gay. Oh, you could do like oh. what my sister did. Yeah, I could be Alan, except for Tyler's way cuter than Alan. <laughs> yeah. Alan is fucking Alan gross. Alan reminds you like someone from accounting eats subs, he's a little sweaty. That's like there's so like stains bad. on his shirt. That's so bad. But I feel like with your last name, you could be uh, like a country music star. Like, I can see that Alan Lambert. Like Alan Lamb. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lamb. oh, sorry. Lamb. Yeah. Oh, I was Lamb. thinking Miranda saying? Lambert. Mm. Mm. So that's a country star, right? Yeah. But Alan Lamb still sounds, still like, sounds a, like a country star. That sounds like a fa- like a famous singer or something. It does. Oh, it's a, such a bad fucking name. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, at least you have a middle name. I don't have a middle name. Honestly, good. Mine's really ugly. It's Abigail. The fuck oh, am I supposed to do with very an Abigail? traditionally English, Emily, huh? Emily Abigail. Abigail. Wow. Wow. Very, um... You like... English, Irish? It looks yeah. just like... It sounds just like how you look. I know, so, but I feel like it doesn't fit me. What was Abigail Proctor? What the fuck book was that? Y- yeah, uh... Um, you know. The, the Scarlet I... Letter? No. What's no. her name, Abigail? No, and fucking... Oh, my God. The Crucible. Easy no. The Easy Crucible. <laughs> The Crucible, Easy A, same thing. You know, like classic literature, yeah. like the modern day Emma Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you do. You're like you are like an Emma Stone. Now you have the hair. I have the hair. But wait, how does she talk though? She doesn't have the tits though. So like, maybe I could Emma? get rid of these. Yeah, she doesn't have the tits. Mm-hmm. Instead of Emma Stone, you're how? Emma Cantaloupe. <laughs> how old were you when you got tits? I was like nine. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so. Do you guys talk about tits on every episode? We talk about yeah. everything, yeah. Okay. Sex, we dating, stand up, pooping. pooping. I, do love, I do love talking about pooping. Okay, you got your tits at nine. Lucky, lucky, lucky. How old were you when you got your period? I was 12. Okay. Yeah. And that's like a guys? normal age. I think I was like 12 and a half. I think I was 13. How old were you when you got your tits? Oh, I was in fifth grade. So I was like 10 or nine. Nine yeah. or 10. I had like C cups. Do you guys feel like guys liked you? Started liking you like more, I guess, when you were little. Did- I had a bowl cut, so I straight up, I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay. I straight up looked like a boy and I was often mistaken for a boy and I've been kicked out of bathrooms. Like, really? Yeah. Like, I would, everyone thought I was a boy. Interesting. They'd be like, why are you in the girls' why bathroom? Why is this boy and with be like, <laughs> why is this Yeah, or like, like I did like a, um, I played baseball and everybody would be like, your son's so good to my dad. <laughs> no, he's like, that's my daughter, Jamie. <laughs> no. People were like, I think her name. I think his name is Sebastian <laughs> or I did like a I did Avril Lavigne skater boy for a talent show with my friend I had a short haircut and I was literally dressed in a skirt with full blown stage makeup like a lot of makeup and everyone would be like oh are you brother and sister and I'd be like wow they're like you play the girl so well or like I think I played really? the boy I played the boy in the song like she was you know what I mean I don't know whatever just because you had short hair yeah. Okay, that's okay. It was, it was not a good uh, no, cut, admittedly. I'm gonna, I'm, you're going <laughs> to okay. see it, and then you're going to be like, oh, that isn't you. And How then, long did you have the cut for? 
like three years. I had to grow it out like every day. Oh, wow, you loved it. No, I hated it. And <laughs> three I, years? How fucking slow does your hair grow? Every time. Why do I have so many fucking photos? I know that would stress me out. I gotta go through this, and like these are cleanse all, like, myself. Nudes. Um, <laughs> do you take nudes? When's the last time you sent a nude pic to somebody? Mm, to my boyfriend, probably a month ago. How often do you have to send nudes when you're in a relationship? Oh God, never. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Never. I'm like, I was just out of town and I was bored. <laughs> Like, I asked my boyfriend, I'm always like, can you like send me your dick? And then he's like, okay. And then he like does an elaborate video and it's great. And I love watching them. And then I get like, hi. And then I masturbate and then I forget to send anything <laughs> <laughs> back. So it's just constantly him sending me things. Cause I'm like, thank you. You just have to like FaceTime each other and like do it together. It's the worst though, because we do OnlyFans. I'm not in the mood to do that no. naturally. Why doesn't he just watch your OnlyFans then? Go look at the phone when you're feeling lazy. Because you have to pay for everything. Oh, he doesn't subscribe to yours? Even if you subscribe. Oh, really? Uh, The wall is still like PG. So I have a free subscription. And then after 30 days, whatever. But the wall is pretty like like lingerie or like like sexy bikini photos. Okay. And then if you want to see anything, you pay more in the DMs. Oh. What's up, dude? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're back to the bowl cut. All right. So people used to make fun of me and take pictures of my bowl cut. And then they'd like... I open my computer and like there'd be stuff like this. Oh, wow. This is a lot. (laughs) There's more. Hold on. Oh, that's wild. I wasn't thinking you would look like this. (laughs) I know. I. Wow. That's what I didn't. (laughs) And you did the middle part and everything. Okay, hold on. I'm going to add these for anyone watching. Okay, this gets worse. It's really boyish. This, This gets, this is as it's growing out. Huh. No what? way. Yeah. That is very boyish. Hold on, hold on. I had a short haircut, but I didn't look quite. What? <laughs> yeah. That's that. a, are you serious? Yeah. It's a rough one. Yeah. <laughs> this is was, I was wait, honestly, gets, I was not expecting it to be you to be that boyish. Yeah. Here's my baseball pick. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a Sebastian if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I'm fucked up. I know that's so funny. People don't believe me. They're like, "There's no way." Yeah, I was like, "No," because I had a short haircut when I was little. But I was like, "I still look like a girl." But but here's the thing: when I was little, oh, you keep you keep going. I'm gonna pull something out. No, (laughs) I've got I've got nothing else. You were saying you had a boy haircut. I had a boy haircut, but I I, you looked like a girl. I still looked like a girl. Yeah, that was me as like a baby. Oh, that's very cute. There's like very uh very cute little girl baby. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I was girly, and then something happened. Did and you? Did you this want is what this happened. Part? Puberty happened. I grew. Let me see. And then like the boobs started coming in. I was really skinny. Okay, yeah, you got the tits there. And like I'm not grown into my body. I'm like it was very awkward. And it's so funny because I was like super tall. Yeah, taller than everyone. And now I'm like the shortest. I know. Girl. Yeah, because you're small. How tall are you? Five two. Yeah, you're small. Yeah. So Girls it's... like grow, and then they're taller than all the boys until like fourth or fifth grade, and then we just never keep growing it's just weird just stuck thing. there it's so weird that like girls develop tits so early and they're so like we're so like awkward I mean I, I never got tits so I don't know what the fuck but <laughs> um like how you develop tits so early and then you're like in this awkward little body with just like big fat tits and mm-hmm. it's like it's such a weird what do I do with these yeah. Yeah, it's weird and then you start bleeding and you're like what the fuck is happening yeah <laughs> what a weird puberty's weird I I was guys just get a dick it's so easy for them so easy it's just, yeah. they don't, they, well they don't get a dick it doesn't like <laughs> pop out during puberty and stuff but you know I mean like their balls drop or whatever they I just think. wake I up think. one day no they think their balls drop when they're born no I think really? it happens later aren't they like all tight when and they're shriveled eight, up it goes like bloop is that true? You're a man. Do you have... <laughs> did your balls drop when you were a baby or when you're like a teenager? Wait, dude. Teenager? teenager? Okay, well... Uh, no, yeah, but like... Do they go back up inside? He's so down. Oh, that's funny. No, yeah. I think huh. it is puberty, but... Balls are weird. But so your balls are just tucked inside of you no, until no, you're a teenager? No, not tucked inside. They're just like tighter and not like they don't hang as much. You yeah, know how some like guys wait. Like, it's like they're tight, tight balls. Yeah, tight. A little and then tight. Like, they just Loosen came. Up. Okay. They just came kind of balls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay. I don't, can we stop <laughs> talking about little boy balls? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll keep going. And we're back on the subject of fucking kids. God damn it. 
<laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about puberty. Everyone goes through it. Did you guys ever read those like American Girl books? Or it's not American. It's like girl. this is my body. This is my body. Yeah. No. And it was like these three girls. Really? No. That was the only thing my mom did. That was all, yeah. Same. Really? <laughs> she was like, well, no, no. My mom was way too invasive. But they basically were a book, and it would walk you through all things that could happen. You getting like, like armpit hair, and getting, oh, and really? shaving, and get, yeah. getting pimples, and like bikini lines. If you start shaving and getting hair, and it shows like, and it's like pictures of little girls, and it would be like drawn with like their boobs and like different shaped boobs and like all of this stuff. It was like the American Girl thing. It was yeah, it was like the to franchise? teach girls. I think so. I, it was to teach girls about their bodies. Honestly, I was very thankful for it. I think anyone Me who too. had it was very grateful this because. One. The care and keeping of you, and it's all about like shampooing, like using it. deodorant, which was very important. A lot of girls in my school were fucking stinky, and I had to like Everyone tell the nurse, was I was like, "Can you take them aside and like tell them?" They obviously them. haven't read the you secret, book. right? Yeah, it's I hadn't. I mean, I still fucking haven't figured out hygiene, so I'm like, <laughs> I never, I never read that book. I don't even know what things in my vagina are called. Me either. either. I don't even know. I'm like, what's yeah. that thing? A flap thing? There's yeah. the clit, right? And then the labia. And then I'm like, is and this another clit? Hole? Like, what's happening? There's yeah. two pee holes. No, there's one little pee hole. Oh, okay. Whew, I was like, God damn, did I miss one? But you can stretch it big enough to stick things in it, which is fucked up. We talked about we sounding on our last yes, episode. Yes, so did. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever done it to yourself? Absolutely the fuck not. I mean, that's terrifying. I, <laughs> I think you ever. Something has to be a little like, like a screw has to be a little loose or something. I no, read something recently. Missing. There was like a girl who got something like stuck up there. No, it no. was some fucking insane story. She, she goes to the hospital and then they like pull out this Stop. like ancient thing that's been just marinating in her pee hole. In her pee hole? How do you not die? How, I fucking, you got me fucked up. I don't know. <laughs> who does that? What, like for fun, it's like the guys who stick gerbils up their ass. Well, how do you forget about how it? Do you is my start? question. How do you get there? Get this shit. <laughs> Meth. So, <laughs> bath my friend, sauce. Yeah, bath sauce. My friend tells me this story yesterday about um, his friend's old boss who worked at a dildo factory, and his boss was high on meth. And uh-huh. they're all working, his friend's working, and something starts leaking. Oh, no. Like all of this water starts leaking, and they're like, what the fuck's going on? They go up, the fucking, the boss was on, high on crystal meth, forgot that he had four billiards balls up his asshole, oh, no. took a shit, and the billiards balls came out, cracked the toilet, <gasps> and water starts fucking spouting out. How do you forget you have four fucking billiards <laughs> balls in your asshole? Like, maybe one. Four? But four? And he shat, and they fucking came out, cracked the toilet, and it exploded <laughs> he, in the dildo factory. A, did he have explosive diarrhea? Like, why was it so that's aggressive? Why? I mean, I guess just when you're trying to fucking shit, and well, if that you're, force if you're high out. on drugs... How and you then forget? you forget because like, you're high on drugs yeah. and you're walking around first it feels good and then all of a sudden you're walking around you forget you put it up there and you're like do I have to take a shit? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just that feeling and then you, if you're you know on drugs maybe you blacked out when you put the balls up your ass. <laughs> That's so wouldn't you just feel so heavy though? Like your fucking asshole would feel heavy. How do people with like you know those when balls you can no? You no. shove them up your vagina Yeah, the balls and they're like, like weighted. They're Whoa. weighted. You're supposed to like hold them in and squeeze them in and strengthen your day. muscles. Really? And keep them in. Yeah, it's, it's like good for healthy vagina stuff. So if, you have, if you're ever going to have a baby or whatever, yeah. that it keeps everything like good. Okay. Because like women's pussies can fall out from what? the inside. Like an yeah. anal prolapse. Yeah, an anal prolapse. Yeah. It's a vaja- vagina. No, vaginal. Vaginal. <laughs> vaginal. Vaginal of a goo. prolapse, and you could be like just 80 years old in the shower, and then something just plops out of you on the ground. No. You have to like stick it back in. What a no. bad prolapse paints a <clears throat> disgusting picture. <laughs> have you ever seen one? I have. Yeah. I've seen a lot of prolapsed things, not in real life, just out of curiosity. Yeah, yeah same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always get like those dark. Yeah, you gotta know. Of Google. Hmm. Mm. I went on like the whole like, what does herpes look like? And I went through every single sexual like STD to distinguish it and then everyone always talked to like the blue waffle oh, in God. high school yeah, the mysterious school. blue waffle so you'd look up like what a blue waffle looked up what and then, look and then like? those pictures if you looked at that picture it shows like similar pictures you know yeah and it's what, what, dude, was, some, what was fucking blue waffle I don't even what does it look like what does it do to you it make, I just think it's like you're but it looks like fucked up. I don't know. Should we look up a blue waffle? It, it like wasn't it's like not even a real no. thing they just like it's like an STD no I think a blue waffle blue Waffle. I just burped and it smelled like a hot dog. <laughs> blue, blue waffle disease. Yeah, yeah, this, it does not exist. The scientific term. It. Yeah, it doesn't exist. 
God damn it. Wait, if I search images. You're telling me my vagina can never turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, wait, I don't want to oh, see. Oh, no. I, is it maggots? It's maggots, isn't it? I hope so. It, so was, it was maggots, wasn't it? No, it looks like something from like those like mm, that movies where they make this. zombies and aliens and like there's all the. Uh, yeah, okay. You know, so it's like face off. Decomposing Can flesh. Hear? Yeah, like and then like the protrusions and different colors. But it's no. not a real thing? No, but when you just go to images, it just shows some fucked up pussies. They okay, like that's SFX what it is. make up their vaginas? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fuck no. <laughs> Could you never know, be me. I'm always scared of like shaving, just like chopping part of my clit off. Like that's oh, like my nightmare. I think about that all the time. Yeah. Every time I shave my vagina, I think <laughs> about it. Yeah. And sometimes I daydream about it and my <laughs> vagina's gone. And yeah. Sometimes you probably have intrusive thoughts and you're like, what if I right. just. What if I cut it off? I think about that a lot. I'm like, I have scissors. I could cut my labias off. You could. Oh, you, you absolutely. But no why? One, no one would stop you. Nobody would because you're alone. It's you're just, alone. <laughs> just like gonna we, say, don't do that. We're, we we uh, live in like a building or whatever. So we have the parking nice. garage. It's like nine floors. And so as we're going down, you have to like see over the edge and just open. <laughs> and there's like three thin lines of like string basically that could stop a car from like falling like, off. That wouldn't oh, stop. And we, we <laughs> always driving. And then I'm like, should we? And, just she's, like, and then she's like. Yeah, <laughs> you could, and then we just imagine, it and then we don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you get that? Like all the time, people listening are like probably like they're fucked up. What's wrong with these chicks? No, but it just no, makes no, sense. They feel it thoughts, too. Yeah. It just makes sense. Yeah, or like when you're like driving in traffic, and you're like, what if I just caused a fucking standstill accident? All the time. Just kill everyone. <laughs> or when people are walking past me, I'm like, I could hit them. Yeah. <laughs> What if I, I just could. trip this asshole? Yeah. Or when I'm standing on like a tall floor, I'm like, I could, I could jump. Yeah, Wee. I think some of my intrusive thoughts are more like Final Destination. Yeah. yeah. So like, re- let, not like me trying to do something, but like something crazy happening where then all of a sudden I'm driving and then like a pole just goes through like the windshield and through my head. Yeah. And I imagine I'm like, it definitely goes through my eyeballs. So mm-hmm. I'm totally fucked because I don't <laughs> want to have eyeball surgery. And then I just live without an eyeball and then somebody fucks my eye socket and then I get maggots in my eye socket. Whoa, you went yeah. from zero to ten. Yeah, there's really no in between so, with me. Wait, they want to. So you're willingly let some letting somebody <laughs> fuck you in the eye. I don't know if it's willing or not, but it happens. Men will fuck okay, anything. That was also a topic. Did, but why does then why does it get maggots? Are the maggots on his penis? Because they could be a creep and they'll fuck dead bodies too. That's true. And then they'll fuck your eye socket. And they will. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds more like rape. It definitely. <laughs> but if but somebody's it's also fucking my not, eye socket. That's, that's not off the table. It's you know. Do we own our bodies? No. For how much money would you let no. somebody fuck your eye socket for? None. None? There's no money? <laughs> no, there's no money. Five million dollars. You it, already are missing an eye. No. If I, oh, I'm already missing mm-hmm. an eye. You get a fake, you get a lot of fake eyes. You could have a purple eye. Yeah. Those are cool. If I'm, I'm already you missing have, an you eye. You have bling. Yeah, it's already Can you show gone. the camera your bling? It's dope. You could have that on your eyeball. That'd be dope. Instead of like the glare of the white, like, you know, it's an actual mm-hmm. crystal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Depends. For, well, if it's already gone, maybe I could do it for five million. Well, they'd have to have a small dick. Yeah, like a micro penis. There have to be some rich micro penis men out there. There, I bet a lot of them are. That explains why they're fucking rich. Because rich guys are like, well, I need somebody to fuck me, so they get rich. So then they fuck their little micro penis. <laughs> it's a power game. It's too. a power game. It is. Yeah. It's like I look how powerful I am, and I have a micro penis. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. What was I going to fucking... Say? Okay, if we can think of it, then, then it absolutely happens. Somebody's gotten their eye socket fucked. Somebody sure. that's ever existed. Oh, absolutely. For sure. I definitely person. heard another one, too, where they had, like, you know, like, oh. the pee bags? They fucked they yeah. their stoma? Like a col- they, colostomy bag? I think they, like, fucked their hole in their side or something. Yes. Yeah, that's a no for me. Yes. That what if you sense. fuck some shit up? It's like literally you, like you every girl up. has had their cervix hit. Imagine getting like your fucking spleen or your what intestine. What if it's like your hit? kidney? He's just fucking you. What if they fucked you and it hit the right, right spot in your intestine and then you just shit everywhere? That would be unfortunate. But I feel like somebody that would fuck your that part of you would be also into that. That's true, right? Because like no That's normal true. person is like. Yeah, yeah. F- just don't make me. Sh- yeah, don't stoma. make me shit. At least, like, <laughs> please don't make me shit while you fuck my open wound. Exactly. They're into it. Mm. Yeah. We were at a comedy show last night and um, I I said that they, somebody asked like if there were any freaky girls in the audience and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then they asked me what I did and I was like, 
I was totally just joking around, but I said Cleveland steamer. Do you know what that is? No, but it sounds good. It's not good. <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> she just yells Cleveland steamer and then they like put the light on her and they're like, who is it? And then everyone is like, Emily, gets, <laughs> Emily shits on men's chests. Oh, it's <laughs> shitting on men's chests. Okay. It's, yeah. Oh, you're shitting. So it's I'm the, shitting the on shits. them. And yeah. You know, so then the whole comedy place was the haha. I'm the was, shit show. Oh, you were at the haha. Yeah. <laughs> Where's oh, your favorite God. place to perform? Mm, in LA, probably the Laugh Factory. The Laugh Factory is a really okay. fun room. Oh, I like the Laugh Factory. Yeah, it's a fun room. Horrible hang, but fun room. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna be in Miami performing at the Miami Improv. May 25th or 27th, 27th to, to the 29th. Yeah. Okay. Cause it's like tomorrow. Yeah. That is oh, tomorrow. Shit. Huh? Yeah. God damn. So this will already have been out. Oh yeah. That's fucking tomorrow, dude. Yeah. yeah. Shit. I know. Well, you missed her at Miami. Hopefully you she comes back Miami. to us. <laughs> yeah. Sorry guys. <laughs> we and can that- tell you all the places to go in Miami though, or like, like cool spots. Yeah. 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 Cause I want to like fucking shop. I want to eat. What kind of Ooh. food do you like? Anything. I I don't eat meat. I eat fish. But do you like Brussels sprouts? I could I could be into them. I, I'm not like a. a I don't like come for Brussels sprouts. Yeah, but I we do. do. Oh, do we you? We like yeah. come for Brussels sprouts. You come for Brussels sprouts? Like, literally we'll, orgasm. Yeah, we'll yeah. Google places based on their Brussels sprouts and then really? go to the restaurant yeah. because of their Brussels sprouts. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not that diehard of a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like the crispy, like Asian style Brussels sprouts oh. are so good. But there's an uh, like a sushi. I guess Asian style restaurant, Mint in South Beach. So nice. Uh, there's Moxie's in Brickle. Downtown Miami, there's so many cu- cool spots like in and near like Edgewater. There's like this place that has pink butterflies all over the wall and it's a rooftop bar with oh really God, cool so vibes and you can see the whole city. Yeah, I hear everyone is very hot there. No. Wait, what? No. Where are you going in Miami? I've I heard to everyone go there. in Miami is fucking hot. No. I what? Think I, I don't think so. It's not the men. It or depends. The women. It depends on where. Yes. Yeah, or so, the women, really? I heard that they were also fucking hot. Like well, they, they all, all the have best plastic BBLs. surgery. Yeah. But like, that doesn't mean they're but good. I think. Yeah. I think everyone photoshops. So I think yeah. that online Miami looks a lot more appealing. Appealing, and then you meet a lot of the girls, and you. It's not as done as well. Like you're like, okay, you're using like filters and you're editing and really whatever. Yeah. yeah so there's a lot of like hack jobs. Like a lot of asses actually look fun. I see more asses that look terrible with BBLs than I see a good BBL. Yeah. No. It's very rare I see a good BBL. Because if a BBL is good, you're not going to know it's a BBL. Yeah. So I see a lot of BBLs that I shouldn't be noticing. Yeah. I'm BBLs afraid. Very I'm afraid to get right filler. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, Have you never I'm had filler? A, no, I'm a filler queen. I fucking love filler. I got cheek filler and under eye filler and Botox. But you didn't and, get it in Miami. No, I got it in Massachusetts. I flew back one time to get it back Shut in Massachusetts. Up, you're afraid to get filler in Miami? Because yeah. everybody back. sucks. Customer service blows. Everybody fucks up their job. How can you trust someone with your face? Yeah, I don't trust oh, anyone. No. I have to get my sty removed. It's been here since November and I'm getting surgery next week, like on Wednesday. And I'm terrified to have somebody even just cut a slice out and take the sty out and then sew. Oh like, my God. On my eye and my face. I'm terrified. In Miami. In Miami, yeah. I'm absolutely terrified. I Fuck. don't want to get like the filler places everywhere. You're like, that doesn't look good. They're posting pictures. And I'm like, none of this is good or by the books. I see so many girls no on TikTok that, that are calling out doctors Ooh, for those, filler. Yeah. Or promoters for being shitty out there. Yeah, promoters are super bad too in Miami. Like what kind of promoter? Like club promoters? Club promoters. Like restaurant promoters. They'll be like, oh, like I need a group of hot girls to come to a dinner collab. And you just post about it. But like the dudes are fucking creepy. They hit on you all the time. They try to touch your friends. Shut it's up. It's very creepy. You gotta be careful. Uh, women are women are currency in Miami. Mm-hmm. And if like and we're we're like cheap apparently. <laughs> like, we're like yeah. five cents. Yeah, like we're going you, if you if you like Fridays, TGI Fridays or fucking chilies, you'll like us. Jamie and Emily. Like, <laughs> no, really? What yeah. You, what? Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn. It's crazy. It also it also depends on who you roll with where you're going. That's so true. like sometimes it doesn't matter. Like if you're with the right people, you can get in anywhere. But then obviously not everyone's with the right people. Like that's a lot harder than it sounds. So like, <laughs> you know, sometimes you're with the right people and it still doesn't fucking matter. And people mm. are like, you can't come here. And you're it's very bitch. like, I don't know. But I love Miami. Like the vibes is if you're like free and on your own. Like I don't like the party side of Miami or like that side. And we're not there for that. 
We're more so there for like the fact that you feel like you're in fucking another country. Like that's yeah. tropical. It's a very different vibe. You feel like you're on vacation. Yeah. So, I mean, that's why like, I told my brother the moment he moved there, he moved in December. I was like, don't get lost in the party scene because mm-hmm. you'll become a piece of shit. Like you just naturally <laughs> will. Really? Okay. Your view on women and life and the world will be so different and it'll be so hard to come out of it. Really? Yeah. It's like the red pill on crack. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, and no everyone loves way. Trump. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So weird. Yeah. It's In interesting. Florida. I don't know. I, I forget that Florida's the South. We still can you have so much to explore. And oh, shit. yeah. But um, the no, comedy is a Miami. fun scene. Who, who's on, do you know who's on the show with you at the improv? Yeah. it's I'm going with Felipe Esparza. So he takes like me and a couple of his other comedians. Okay. So it's not like the improv is putting people on the show. Okay. Oh, so there's not going to be anyone local? No. Oh, no, so no, sorry. No. You'll have like a host who opens and then a feature and then. Yeah, I'm the feature and then there's two other guys, but it's like who we travel with usually. Oh, dope. Mm-hmm. Dope. I feel like I saw you post that you did this huge show somewhere. It was, was it probably Netflix was a joke. It was either that or Las Vegas. Maybe it was Las Vegas. It looked like a theater. Like it was huge. Yeah. And you were, I think you were talking about, maybe that wasn't you. I don't know. Maybe it was. How was Netflix as a joke? It was fun. It was fun. It's it's like, it's just, it's just a big fucking they made it seem like it was this big thing. And yeah. It was, just like, okay. was it like another fire festival kind of? Yeah, honestly, kind of. It was just like, okay, what is it? They just stamp their name on everything. And you're like, this really isn't that big of a deal. Does it help Damn. in terms of like a resume for comedy? No. Okay. Really? I don't think so. I mean, the only thing that really helps is if like there's, you know, like uh, managers and agents and shit there. That's really it. Okay. And they, yeah. it's not like they were bringing people there. Like there was no anyone scouting anyone no there's no because it's like people go to see like the big headliners you know mm-hmm. so it's like there's just their fans like agents aren't going to scout like the headliners yeah so it's hard <clears throat> I think that's a big thing in comedy is having like a solid fan base oh that's like your whole fucking <clears throat> thing you can like be a bad comedian and have a solid fan base and you're good yeah <laughs> I feel a lot of people are yeah I, you know, I'm definitely not one of those comedians that's up every single night. I was in the beginning and stuff, but with other things happening and it's more of like something I enjoy doing and I want to focus on it. And just right now I need some time off. Yeah. You know, but the audience is there. So when I get back, it's not like it's going to be, you know what I mean? I'm not, I feel like I'm not (laughs) losing out as much as besides on the experience. You need to be a good comedian. Right. Yeah. You have to be fucking doing it all the time. It's where, I mean, since I've had COVID, like I haven't gotten up in like two weeks, which is a long enough time. And I'm like, fuck, I haven't done the fucking stand up and now I have to go do like these six shows in Miami tomorrow. I'm even fucking I'm all tired of that fucking brain fog. Yeah. I feel like shit still. In Miami you can play with the people though. So yeah. hopefully you can just fuck with them. I know. <laughs> they just crowd, the crowd work with. is so, I think it'd be so fun. The crowd work is super fun. I mean, if they're dirty, if Miami's like a dirty audience yeah. and mm-hmm. I'm fucking good to go, because I am not a clean comic. Yeah, they also love any reference you can make to Miami. Yeah, like if you know, oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's you any. You can make like, a joke about like traffic getting in or like say something in Spanish. Literally, thing. they would eat that up. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good thing I know nothing about Miami. I know, I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> Miami's a lot. Yeah, do you guys drink? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. She doesn't really. Vaguely. Really? Okay. Yeah. So you're not out getting like fucked up on the weekends and shit. I don't have the energy for that. Oh, no. We're like home body like losers. (laughs) Okay, good. No, Uh, but like we. It'll keep you young. On an occasion, we'll do it. So, like, if there's an event, like at Supernova, I had like two drinks or whatever. We were sitting there and it was fucking freezing. And then, but the drinks were so strong that I was like fucked up. And I'm like, I did not plan to get fucked up. You know, like, I would rather have like a glass of wine. Oh, cl- by myself okay. or like go to dinner and have like a glass of wine or like a high like a cool when they make fancy cocktails or I'm trying like new beer but fucking I don't like liquor oh, I'm so jealous I just Ugh. like being high really see I fucking hate weed I just can't I'm not good at it anybody who's like I, I can always like function f- high I'm like how what was your first weed experience like because you said you got like paranoid right mm-hmm. every single <laughs> experience I've had on weed has just been like a, like a, I feel like I'm having some kind of like schizophrenic breakdown are you yeah. just like tripping Manic. balls yeah I'm like this is horrific oh no that yeah, happens to scary. a lot of people yeah it's very scary I'm like I can't do this no, did you no. ever try like different strains like was this one you were just trying like if you were got off like a dealer and your friend or something like 
before people were really like, I'm smoking this blue dreams or whatever, yeah. you know? My anxiety. Yeah, and I mean, I fucking, I've done, I've done edibles, I've done different strains. All of it just makes me feel like a fucking weirdo. Damn. Damn. I know, it's not my thing. See, yeah. I feel like I'm like manic. Cause I, I'm like, I'm diagnosed bipolar and they thought I don't have ADHD. And I think they're lying. Cause TikTok is telling me otherwise. And I definitely <laughs> have ADHD and maybe autism. Why do you think <laughs> autism? We took like this test that's, you know, supposed to be like, if you get above like 60, yeah. you might have autism. You might be on the spectrum. And we both like scored really high. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I think, I feel like our whole generation though, all thinks we have autism. Yeah. yeah. We that's, all think we yeah. do. But it's from TikTok. It's literally yeah. from people being like symptoms. You have ADHD and it's like things that are not your personality, but are actually ADHD or autism. And yeah. you're like, you, they list them off and you're like, I do nine out of 10 of those. Or sometimes all of them. Like the weird thing where I sleep like this, like I always curl my hands up like weird or I'll like have my hands weird in like weird spots or like you talk like just little things how I like you think about social situations yeah masking like we'll unmask with each other what we call unmasking I guess and it's literally like the personality's gone mm -hmm. and we're just like okay <laughs> this is us just existing and being but okay. like we're not like I don't Performing. know right okay yeah okay there's a lot too, but also like TikTok is literally Web WebMD on crack. No, yeah. it really is. So <laughs> I just need therapy. Everybody, everybody has BPD. Everybody has fucking bipolar. bipolar everybody yeah. has everything. It's like I was ADHD. actually diagnosed bipolar and on multiple fucking heavy medications and shit. Are you medicated for no, it? No, okay. no. I cut everything cold turkey like two years ago. I think they overdiagnose it. I I think they put me on heavy like over medicated, sedated yeah. anti like psychotics or uh, whatever. I think no. it was on Seroquel. And I also like had to mix that because that made me a zombie. They were like, well, now we have to lift you up. And like, but I still had depression even though I was a zombie. So they gave me like an antidepressant and then something else Big to pharma, like- Big baby. Yeah, so I was on a heavy concoction and I just like wasn't a human being. And I was like, fuck this. Quit everything cold turkey, which they tell you not to do. And I don't recommend it because the side <laughs> effects were horrible. Horrific, <laughs> yes. But I got like super into a spiritual journey and I was like, my mind, I th I'm a very mind over matter person. And I think that certain people are mentally strong enough to push through that. Mm -hmm. But it also is very hard and that's not for everyone. And I am not a doctor, so don't come <laughs> sue me because I tell you to take your medication <laughs> or stop taking it. But like, yeah, I don't know. I just pushed through it. And then I dealt with the side effects of not being able to sleep because I don't sleep. Like I have like, I have so much energy that I can't sleep and I lay awake mm -hmm. and my mind's racing and the medications that were sedative, I took them at night before bed so I'd knock out. So for like two years, I was sleeping like a baby and then I stopped taking the medication and it was like, I'm up for six days straight and now I'm manic. And like- Do you get manic? Yeah. Oh, you oh, do? Oh yeah, oh, I'll go shopping. I'll do crazy things. I've gone out of the country and just like <sighs> ran around by myself and slept with dudes. Okay, and fun. Like, oh no, no you're I'm just fun. fun. I'm fun, yeah. But it, also sometimes the thing she says, I'm like, bitch, you should have been murdered so many yeah, times. I, I, Amber Alert, I don't know, like stolen <laughs> in other countries. I literally asked her, I go- <laughs> I go, if we go to another country, will you get in like locals cars with me? And she was, cause like, I was like, my other friend wouldn't. And she refused last time we were traveling. And I don't really want to go traveling unless someone's willing to like I do just, the fun stuff. There's, there's gotta murder, be some sure. safety to it. There's gotta be some. You're like, no, there doesn't. Cause I've gone with a bunch of like locals with like my godfather and like, I trust his judgment. So we just have to find our own judgment and trust it. I feel like I have great judgment. That's why I've come out fine the whole time. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It's I'm, funny because you don't seem bipolar, but I guess if you're not having like a manic episode, I wouldn't be able to tell. I have done a lot of healing and a yeah. lot of uh, managing my emotions and my triggers. Yeah. I think like the biggest way to like help on mental health first is acknowledging your triggers and like yeah. healing those. Because now like I can catch myself before I go into a spiral. Okay. So like before mm -hmm. my life was very chaotic and there was not a single amount of stability. Like in this conversation, oh, really? I okay. could have gone like from happy to sad to like having anxiety. Like, yeah. And then oh. it will go into spirit. I'm very, I'm bipolar, not in the sense of even... I'm more so... I think it's like bipolar 2 or something. Yeah. Where like it's not so much like every day which I do have some of that, but it's like six months period. So literally like September to like March, 
I'm in a deep, like depressive, fun- I'm going to, f- I always call it like a funk and I can't get out of it. Mentally, I'm not there. Mentally, I want to be successful and I want to do things. Yeah. Everything mm-hmm. else is shut off. Like it's physically impossible. Do and- you get like God complex? Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I look at, I do social media yeah. and like everything that I, yeah. 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 And I'm an Aquarius. I have such a God complex. It's so I'm funny. the greatest. Yeah. Do you have bipolar? No, you no. You just sound very familiar. I, um, I am a doctor. Um, no, I'm not. I'm too I stupid believed to be you. a doctor. I Did believed you, you too. I was like, I was, I was a doctor. I was okay, like, she just shit. got offended by Emily. She's like, shut actually, you. I was like, I'm sorry. I said, listen, to her. Dr. Lamb no, to you. I'm just, no, I'm actually very stupid. I, I could never be a doctor. The thing is, though, is that I, fuck it, I don't know. I, I think about this stuff a lot. I listen to a lot of just doctors like do talk lot of about reading. it. Yeah, I have, I have the fucking, you know, the, the regular uh, old classics, uh, anxiety, depression. Mm-hmm. And I do a lot of like research into medication and what people like with mental illness look like and exhibit like what kind yeah. of behaviors they exhibit and okay. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I really did, boring. It's so boring. I think I'm we so do, sorry. I just talked about that. We do that, that too, No, though. no, you're good. I did that stuff like trying to diagnose my mom for like a while yeah. back. Cause like a lot of what also like out? she has Munchausen's by proxy syndrome and she probably has, what? she probably has yeah, no, her so like fucked. narcissistic like all this shit. She's a bunch of shit. Munchausen by proxy. Yeah. So wait, a crazy so, bitch. So did you you grew up? I was the proxy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> now yeah. you've awakened my fucking beast. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Oh my god. Do you have siblings? <laughs> no, I was the well, yeah, kind of. But she's twenty years older than me, and she didn't live with us like when I was growing up. So I was basically an only child. What did she did do? You? Like what? What would she? Did she like wheelchair you? <laughs> yeah, she like convinced neurologists that I had epilepsy. So I was like heavily medicated for years and like had night terrors and it led to like seizures and shit. So it like just furthered like, wow. and she convinced doctors that I had like mental retardation. Like, Why do they it. love that? Why do Munchausen's love to convince <laughs> doctors that you're retarded? I don't know. Oh, she's like, like this bitch truth. is but fucking stupid. But the thing stupid. is, Emily is so smart. Like, Emily is the kind of, like, she's very intelligent and, like, she read a lot. Like, there's no way that somebody could look at you and be like, that girl's <laughs> retarded. And, like, no one. Wow. <laughs> Are you on bitch. good terms with her? No, oh, no, we do not speak. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. When did you start figuring out that you, like, didn't have these things. Well, she convinced an orthopedist I had an extra bone in my foot. And I'm like, dude, you how, have my how, x-rays. How? There's no bone in my foot. Like, how? look. And so I went to like a, a different orthopedist because at that point, like I reported the abuse. And so like I lived with, like part time with my mom and my dad. So my dad like got another medical opinion to see if I was actually as fucked as she said I was. And I wasn't. So, yeah. How old were you? Twelve. I know it could have been way worse, though. Like I could have been like Gypsy Rose. You could have been Gypsy and Rose. And fucking murdered her. I thought about it a lot. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like stand Whoa. over her with a knife. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a lot of kids do that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you haven't thought about murdering your parents, you you were raised right. <laughs> Cause like, wow. oh yeah. Do you have trauma? Thousand. I mean, who doesn't, you know? Yeah. Who the fuck doesn't? Yeah, I do. But I'm like, it's so, I can't, we've all got it. It's so, <laughs> it's so basic at this point, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always think it's like how well, how someone handles it. Yeah. You know, I think that shows like a lot for a person. They become either school shooters or they become comedians and that's it. Yeah. Wow. You're, you're one and of Emily's the two. about wow. to start doing stand-up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. The FBI is going to like come in and like take us down. I, um, I'm not a school shooter. She's not a school shooter. Well, you're not because you're a woman. Women don't do it. It's only men. That's yeah. true. It's men with all this pent up cum and that's it. Why don't they just jerk off and like hope for the best? Like yeah. they can jerk off in the school. They can jerk off like, no, about yeah. the bullies. Like it's the idea that they can't have a woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if we just got every school shooter a hooker, we'd be good. No, because they also hate, they also well, that's probably also hate pedophilia, yeah. typically. Fuck. Or like, yeah, because they're kids. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Yeah. You can't win well, in the U.S. You can't, can't win. You can't win. If you had to move somewhere else, where would you go? Have you ever thought of leaving America? All the oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Every, yeah. Today. You, I would go to Europe. I'd go to fucking, I don't know, Paris or some shit. Isn't that where that Roman Polanski dude who like raped like his stepdaughter or something? Like he just up and left Hollywood to go to Paris? He went to, didn't he go to, did he go to Romania? Or am I just thinking that because his name's Roman? <laughs> 
I couldn't tell you. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see where Roman Polanski moved What's to. He to. Who is that? He's the one. His wife was murdered in the Marilyn Manson thing. Sharon Tate. Is that who, who it is? I'm so behind. I don't know. Sharon Tate was pregnant shit. and they murdered her. And that was, and then he like anally raped a little girl or something when he, she was like 13. What the fuck? Okay. But she had like consented. He's 88 years old. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, you're right. He was married to Sharon Tate. Mm -hmm. Why won't France extradite Roman? Oh, yeah, he's, he's in, in France. France. Okay. Oh, he holds dual citizenship with Poland and France. Nice. Oh, yeah. Shit. And in Poland in 2015, they decided not to extradite him after prosecutors. Whatever the fuck. Okay. He did not need to face a U.S. court for raping someone. Okay, so he's just out there living his best life. So that's yeah. where I want to go. I'm trying to fucking live the kind of life a yeah. woman lives. I'd go like Spain. Spain sounds cool. Spanish men. Just travel mm -hmm. all of Europe sounds nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to be an art thief. I like, feel like you'd be a be good cool? art thief. You'd dress in those long gowns and you'd seduce men with your eyes and you'd have red lipstick and you'd be like, let's Ooh, yeah. talk about this painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a this British accent. Yeah. This Who's is Bosch. Bosch. And then you like steal it and it's a fake one and then you like cartwheel away. Bosh. I gotta learn how to cartwheel. Wasn't Bosch a musician? <laughs> I think Bosch or Bach. No, a Bach. That's Bach. Bach okay. is the musician. <laughs> Bosch is the Ireland. painter. Bosch is... Um, what do I fucking He does okay. some like really trippy. Hold on. I think he's a painter, dude. No, honestly, you're probably right. Bosch. I don't know how to spell it though. B O C. I don't know. B O S C H. B O S C H. Bosch. I like B O S C H. Yeah, he does really cool trippy ones. This is one of my. This oh, is he's like a, a Okay. So I was wrong. Is it like a Renaissance it's dude? Hieronymus Bosch, the Garden of Earthly Delights is my oh, favorite. Oh, I do. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 That's Bosch. He's I, my favorite. I saw that on Molly in the museum in Spain. You were on Molly oh. in Spain? I went, yeah, we did it. Oh, we did. <laughs> How fun is Molly? <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. Oh, oh, God. Um, this, was the, this was the manic <laughs> trip that I just went to Portugal and then backpacked oh. through Spain. And how, how long were you there for? 10 days. Were you and manic I almost, the whole time? I, yeah, and I almost missed my flight. I literally like, <laughs> I slept through it and they had to take a separate Basically, they were like, we can't let you into the airport. Like, you have to get a new ticket. And it was $2,000. I was Bullshit. broke. And I was like, there's no way. And I was no. start. I'm like, well, how can I get? I mean, last night's makeup. Like, I'm like, how do I get on the plane? What can I do? Like, and I'm like about to break down. And she's like, all right, let me see what you can do. She's like, you have to run through security and get through customs. What? So I have to go through two security things. And those lines, I look at the lines and they're like 45 minute lines. Yeah. Oh, so Jesus I'm fuck. like, she's like, if you can make through that, but the flight takes off in like 20 minutes. Bullshit. And I'm like, what the fuck? So they're like, if you can make it, there's going to be somebody looking for you in your MTV, like yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. And they're going to take you on a bus and take you to the plane. So oh, I'm like, shit. fuck. Huh? Yeah. And so... I'm like going through it and I start going through security and I'm like, I'm going to, they're like, you go. And I'm like, and they, uh, all these people who are like Irish, like, well, you go girl. Like, uh -huh. run, run, run. And I'm like, everyone's you sound like, like run I know, everyone's like cheering me on. Like everyone's from different countries. That would never happen in the US. People would be like, no. hey, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Like, you would never, <laughs> We yeah. said that. I was like, if I was in Boston, they would not give us, they would give zero fucks. Oh. I was like, okay. They'd yeah. be like, you're not kind of me. Everyone let me cut. They would I'm, shoot you because they all have guns and they would, that would be it. Literally. Yeah. Everyone was so friendly and uh then they took me on a bus and i got bussed like 10 minutes through the airport okay uh, material like, girl you, well I you know. first I, go, I had to go off like the first exit and the bus took me off of the first exit it was the airport you walk outside kind of and then they bust me and i was the last person to board the plane like they mm -hmm. held the plane for me and i was oh. like thank god i made it and i that's why i was always manic but i even though i was manic I just started taking like Zoloft and shit. So I was in the phase of just like not giving a fuck about anything. So you I was like, chilling. yeah, I was like, everything's going to work out. Like it's we're, we're going to be fine. Like it's fine. Yeah. And it did, you know? Yeah. We're <laughs> always fucking late to flights. Are you really? That gives me so much anxiety. We, we barely that. make it every time. Ha, fuck every time. That. We did seven flights or eight, seven flights or eight flights, seven flights in, in like, like 10 days In 10 days, right? Eight flights in 10 days, seven flights in seven days. That's what do you true. talk about on your podcast? What ev fucking everything? The other okay. day, the other day it was, <laughs> it wasn't an, an entire hour of uh, rape and molestation. That was fun, funny, funny, funny. It's so funny. Oh. What's not funny about it? You know, laugh yeah, a minute. So much. Yeah, hilarious. So funny. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have to listen to that podcast. It is wild. So it's like for mine, we have people send in emails each week. There's a different prompt, and we like anonymously read 
these stories from people and they're very good. They're very juicy. I love that. Yeah, yeah. it's really fucking, our last episode was on jealousy. So people emailed in like their experiences like as a jealous ex or with a jealous ex or blah, blah, blah. And you actually get people to email? Oh my I God, like, yeah. So many people. Did, really? Yeah, That's yeah, dope. yeah. Because we, we've we been wanting to do like, I don't know, we'll tell people, we're like DM us. And then some people do, but it's, sometimes it's like the same story. So we can't really like, Share all the same stuff. Or similar. Right. I feel like I'm a like, lot give of us, us some, are... give us some oomph, give me something to work yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, you know? That's why we switch up the uh, prompt every week because we're like, we want to hear a story about this or like. No, that's smart. Mm -hmm. That's the, really The cool. previous week we did sex workers and goddamn, there's so many good stories with sex Especially work. Especially like in really? LA. Oh my God. God, yeah. Sex work is so... The emails we were getting, I was like, these people... This this shit happens to people? Tell us one thing. What, yeah. What okay. was the craziest story? The, one of the craziest ones um, was about the story. So this girl went to like a, a sex party. Ooh. And the guy that was having the sex party was some like rich old guy, of course. And she goes to the sex party. He opens up the door. He has his girlfriend on a leash walking her like a dog. Okay. And she's like walking around the house like a little dog. He's old as fuck. I guess he's disgusting, but he's getting everybody fucked up. All these girls are there. It was just him and then like all these women. Ew. As dogs or just one dog? Just one dog. Just one dog. Is just it one her dog. kink or his kink? Who Probably his. <laughs> And she's just like going with it, but he's paying all these girls to be at this party, right? So they oh. all kind of have to be like, okay. <laughs> um, at one point, this old guy is like touching one of the girls and she's just like, ew. And she pushes him. The guy falls backwards, cracks his head open, <gasps> the blood you. pool around his head. And everybody's just like, what the fuck do we do? The guy wakes up out of some deranged coma and starts yelling at everybody. You, I, no, no, this isn't fun. Nobody's coming. I want everybody to be coming right now. Somebody make me come. Whoa. While the guy's dying? While he's fucking dying. Does he die? He doesn't end up dying. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. He doesn't end up dying, but then he does end up paying all of these girls out. And he paid this girl's rent for like six months afterwards. I feel like that's not enough Everybody's for Everybody's coked up. Yeah. No one got in trouble for that. No, no one got in trouble for but it. Imagine Imagine if he died, I feel like Ooh. everyone in that room would be a suspect or like oh, yeah. mm -hmm. the jail. girl who pushed him, like yep. immediate jail. It was a wild, there are some other wild ones, but that one to me, I was like, it, like, it just kept getting wilder. And I was like, how mm -hmm. the fuck is this? That's crazy. I do not have, I feel, I feel I like run. we, we I haven't run had any like crazy stories, like scary. We get some fucking, we've, there, one of our girls who emails us is a dominatrix and she has some insane stories and she'll send us videos of her like stepping on guys' balls and like stilettos and like punching them. And she, she's like, they a, want to, they want, it, they're humiliated by her exposing them to you. Yes. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll, uh, you know, they like come while she's fucking like punching them in the sack real hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's how do you come from that? They love it. These they guys love are fucking it. What if weird. it pierces your ball skin? They love it. Oh, they, they love, love it. No. You just kick them. Yeah. But also how gratifying is that, you know? I would love to kick them She doesn't have to like suck or fuck them. She's yeah. just like kicking their balls and then they come. That sounds really nice. Just beating up men. Yeah, I could do great. that. That's why you, you would be so good. I had a sim. You'd make so much money. Yeah, there's With a- With those tits, you're making money. Yeah, you need to be like a, a girl who's mean to- Guys always, because I'm more aggr I'm aggressive, I feel like I have a more, at least online, I seem more like- I don't know. So they think I'd be more dominant and want to like degrade them, but I want to be degraded. So I'm not good at being You want to be degraded? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm a sub. I want to like literally be just completely destroyed. Yeah. Really? I'm wait, a sub wait, wait, too, like, but for these men, no. Well, like sub as in like degraded, like you want them to talk shit to you and be like, you stupid little fucking whore. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You like that? I love it. Do you like it? My mom, no. was, my mom was really verbally abusive to me. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> yeah. now we get into the trauma. Yeah, it all stems. It all stems. From the, for the hatred of our mothers. Yeah. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I picked Wild. shitty men because of my father. Oh, mm. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It all and, comes and together. And then it's, to it's a toxic cycle because those are the ones who are like, I'd happily degrade you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I don't give a fuck about you. So you <laughs> like it. Uh, but no, it's nice when you find somebody uh, who's like nice and respects you and then can do that too. Because you have a boyfriend now, right? Yeah. Does he degrade you? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me what he's like said to you? Or is that like a private thing? I'm like, should I find like a message? <laughs> he so could leave the room he really hasn't quick. Said it in a while. No, he'll. It's more so like uh, I don't know. He'll be like, now I'm blanking. He'll call me like a whore a or dirt like little slut. Dirt, yeah, like really? my dirty little slut. Like he'll call me that a lot. Dirty little slut. Oh, God, say I would, I would be like, okay, shut the fuck up. 
I would get mad. And I'm like, are yeah, you more dirty little slut? I think I am. I think I am, but I'm, I'm, I get, I don't know. Or honestly. are you more just chill? I'm just more of a chiller. Hmm. But if somebody, what, oh my God. God, I remember one. Ugh. I remember one time I hooked up with this guy it was years ago. We didn't have sex or anything, but like as we're hooking up, he starts like what we're like making out, and he's like, he's like, yeah, you like that, you stupid little bitch. And I was like, no, uh, no, 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 no. As we're like making out, and I was like, no, 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 no. As no, you're no, making no. out, that's it. It was so weird. And then he started making like baby noises, like Whoa. a crying baby, and I was like, mm, mm, get the fuck out of here. Can you imitate the noise? I hate it. It's gonna give me chills. It sends, it fucking <laughs> sends chills down my spine reliving this moment. But yeah, he was like kind of like looking. I hate it. He was like kind of looking at my tits and he's like, uh, uh, and I was like, no. <laughs> None of this was communicated before. Absolutely the fuck not. None of it was. Co- absolutely the fuck not. He was I acting was like, like a baby. He was acting like a little baby. The and he's like, yeah, you like that, you little dirty slut. And no. I was like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> fuck the fuck no, dude. No. So he's like dominant, Stop. but he also is also a baby. A baby. He's a dominant baby. He's a dominant baby. Who's into that? There's someone who was a fucking as weird a child. submissive mommy. <laughs> someone who was like, you like that? Yeah. Somebody who's got something going on there. Yeah. Right? Oh, man. No, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if someone made that noise while sucking on a titty. Yeah, you would <laughs> shit yourself. I should have shit myself. <laughs> I, I would start hit, batting their head and be like, bah, bah. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad boy. You would have liked that. that. You know he would have oh, liked fuck. that. He would have fucking loved that. There's no winning with these men. No. No, because if you yell at them and degrade them and like you stupid piece of shit, they're like, oh my God, she hates me. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to Would nut. you like that though if somebody was like, sc- like yelling at you like that? Like, you stupid bitch. I don't think so. Okay. I think it like, I don't know. It really depends on the scenario. And there could be like role playing. Like if, like I've definitely been like fighting or talking after a fight or someone and someone's only been like, shut the fuck up. And then turn me over. And like, that's hot to me. Like that dominant. Okay, I get that. And it's not, it's not them really telling me to shut the fuck up. Right. They know in that moment, like that, you know what I mean? It yeah. just, it is a consensual thing. If someone yeah, yeah, like yeah. randomly started talking to me like that and like, I, I feel like I have to be comfortable because yeah. I have to know it's not real because I, w- the reason I got into it, I had a guy or like I knew I was into it is because I had a boyfriend who did it. And then I started realizing that it wasn't like for show or for the bedroom or for either of us it was because he literally like hated women uh-huh. like there was like he thought he was above women and then like, as we'd have sex I could feel that like I could feel that he just didn't respect me and then I lost all attraction and like Ew. all you know so it oh, really takes okay. I have to know you like like me a lot and then I'm like okay now you can call me stupid oh, <laughs> like okay. you know it can't be like an out of hatred thing no for real. Okay. no yeah I definitely could Wild. I think I could get turned on by like a we're raising our voices yelling but it's like you know you're not mad but you're raising your voices and it gets intense and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. there'd be something about that like heated debate and like the testosterone that would be like hot the yeah. competition okay you I know mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. or something like you're mine I'm like oh oh yeah, yeah. and then I'm like yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the baby yeah. You're just sucking at his chest now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll suck a nipple. I lick his nipples all the time as a joke. I'm really annoying. Is I'm he like, not like into that? it? I know. He doesn't. I'm literally like in a puppy. Like I'm like, like I'm so, I'm like, oh, look at a dick. And I just start flopping it around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he'll just be laying there and I'm like, I'll just start touching his nipple. And he's like, what are you doing? And then I'm like, nothing. And then I'm like, then I'll just like lick his nipples. And he's just doing something normal. And I'm and I'm just like I'm bored and I want to play. Okay, <laughs> so you're not like sucking on his nipples while you fuck. No, 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 like, no, no, no. But he doesn't have like sense. I don't even nipples. like when someone sucks on my nipples. Really? I hate it. I'm literally like I just feel like I'm. He's breastfeeding. Really? You're not a tit. You're not a tit licker. Mm-mm. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. like my number one thing. Mm-hmm. Like people licking your tits? Yeah, but it's probably because I don't have any tits. So like I feel like my nipples are like extra sensitive. So I get like super stimulated through it. Oh shit! Yeah, could you come from it? Uh, yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How mm-hmm. long does that take? I mean, fuck, not long. And if I'm, if I'm like, you could just is, come on a plane. I, you know, it's funny. I as, I, as I grab my nipples, I'm like, I could. I'm like, they're dead. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> really, you get like no stimulation from it. Not really. Do you? I used to weigh more, and then I got my nipples pierced, and then it kind of like decreased a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Which is unfortunate because I used to be more like you. Like I might have been able to come for an extended period of that. Yeah. But now it's like there's, there's, there's not much there. There's 
you, Tom you, there's, there's, there's a, well, um, first of all, <laughs> speak for yourself because there's a lot there. Because there is a fucking lot there. There is a lot there, but not for me. It's for other people's viewing yeah. pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. God. Like, I had all just, I ever wanted. I try to stop sexualizing Emily. Yeah. Now Jamie's like HR. She's like. David, you can't talk about Emily's tits. Yeah. He makes so many. He makes so many jokes. He's like, "I'll date Emily," and I'm like, "We're like, shut up, David." That's I'm like, funny. "We're on a work trip. You can't sexually harass, <laughs> sexually harass your boss." The thing is, as a woman, you start realizing that no man is your friend. Everybody wants to fuck you, and that's the end of it. That's the saddest that's realization. Depressing. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. No, no, I know, I but like, yeah. how many friends have like we lost because they just wanted to fuck us? Well, then they weren't friends. Yeah. They were never friends. I know, but that still hurts. I know, because you're like, I wanted a friendship, but I thought it was real. We like to, <laughs> women like to convince ourselves. We're like, no, nah, he's my friend. He'll never fuck me. And then you fucking, and then one day you're like, me and my boyfriend broke up. And they're like, yeah, finally, my fucking chance. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or they always come out, like they're not interested until you have a boyfriend. Every time, like anytime I'm starting to date somebody, everyone comes out of the woodwork. Always. That's always how it is. And they're like, hey, just want to let you know I had a crush on you. And I'm yeah. like, I'm fun. like, you're a little too late always yeah where were you when I was fucking single exactly ignoring Um, me yeah cause that's what happens it always is like I have a glow up so like while I'm single I'm just like not mentally there or like I have like a spiritual and a physical glow up yeah and then, and then when, I when I finally like hit a point where I'm like okay I'm ready to start dating it's like a fight for the spot yep yeah Yeah, and then and then immediately I'm like I'm trapped again (laughs) Yeah, oh, it's always how it is. It's I'm not trapped now, it though. It's good. I'm no, glad he's like he's super. It's super healthy, and I super like he's super cool with like me. Just not talk like all this week. I haven't been able to talk much or do anything. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and like so, it's like a text message here. I'm like, all right, good night. Like, yeah, we'll talk basically when I'm back in a week. That's so nice. And then he's like just cheers me on for like what we're doing and it's super cool and like we're in male dominated industries yeah you know like we're constantly around men yeah I think a part of that too is using like your feminine energy mm-hmm. with men it's not necessarily like flirting or whatever but like there you just know the dance of like how men operate in business yeah you yeah. know yeah 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 for sure and, it, and it's like and you know and so like he's like totally fine like if we need to like look hot and like dress up and like go out with guys and like do whatever. He's like, yeah, whatever. It's business. He gets it. Yeah, like, God, he shouldn't be jealous about that. That's like a secure person. We're, so we're, long, we're long distance. And I texted him. And he's like, right, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, hey, we just met the Miami, the Miami Dolphins team. And we're going to go to a club with them now. And he was like, okay, have fun. That really? was a fun night. Where does he like, live? Boston. Oh, okay. But most dudes would not be cool with that. Oh, absolutely. They'd be like, the hell no. Not. Absolutely the fuck not. Most yeah. men are pussies too. As a true sign of a pussy. But the reason he's so cool about it, that I wouldn't, it makes me like, be like, yeah, that's my man. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? It makes you feel more secure in the relationship. Exactly. Yeah. And then I'm like, why would I want to even do anything? Mm-hmm. You know? It's so true. And it's hot that he trusts you. Exactly. Yeah, and it makes Trust you feel like, hot. oh, that I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to fucking cheat on this why guy. Why would I ruin that? Yeah. 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 I got to work on that because if I'm saying it's hot, then I got to be that way too. But I have trust issues. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, like just with everyone and people. Yeah. Even David, I'm like, what are you plotting against me? I know. David, are you? He's I know definitely there, plotting. I know there's something over he's there. He's plotting. <laughs> People, I mean, it's easy to have trust issues. Especially you know? in like any industry where you're kind of being like an influencer type thing. Mm-hmm. People want to screw you over. They want to gatekeep business deals. They don't want to help you grow. And, just, and especially as women, too. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. You never know. You never, I even, How like, for me in comedy, I'm like, are you booking me because you think I'm funny or are you just booking me because you think you need a woman on the show and you think that I'm hot? You know, you just never know what people's real intentions are with you. I th- yeah. There's times where like I f- I feel like often it might start with like because they want to fuck you and they're hot. Yeah. They're, like bookers are like that, and it's it's sad. And even if they're like, they'll be like, "Yo, stay away from these kind of guys," and then they'll be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you just realize like, yeah, that's how the industry is. And then you just multiple fucking- bookers have subscribed to my OnlyFans and DM'd Name. me to talk Names. to talk about there's there's some like random ones like back home that aren't like anyone. Yeah. You know, but like. There's definitely been a lot of that where people try to like abuse their power or like mention OnlyFans and like try to have that conversation with me like and talk about my content. I'm like, first of all, you just messaged me about a show. We're not going to like swerve the conversation into what you saw on my OnlyFans. Like keep it fucking professional. That's so fucking gross. Yeah. It is so gross. It is. I've had to like put like the boundary down, like set, like keep it professional when talking to me. Yeah. They don't get it. They don't fucking. No. But if you didn't want this kind of attention, why would you do that then? 
Like that's, <laughs> that's the mindset completely of separate. All these Why do you go to work? Yeah. For fucking money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Do you like what struggles have you had being a woman in comedy, especially in LA? Like is there is it harder in LA being a woman in comedy? Like what's the deal? I don't I mean, I've never done comedy anywhere else, so I don't, it's you know it's just like my experience mm -hmm. it's fucking I mean because like I don't know if it's harder anywhere else but it's you know it's being a woman in comedy people first of all you get on stage and people like don't want to laugh at you yeah because you're a woman and there's that stigma of like women are funny <laughs> and then with the added thing of like being you know like attractive people immediately are like oh what's this fucking you know they look at your it's like they they judge you by your looks they judge you by being a woman those are the first two things mm -hmm. but and I've had people come up to me after shows girls to, girls who have been like I didn't want to laugh at you because I didn't think that you were going to be funny but you were actually really funny for a woman and why I'm did like, they think that's a compliment People really don't. They're, They're I, mad that you're a woman and you can be so okay with yourself to get on stage. Every single person looks on stage and if you're on stage, every single person in the audience is like, damn, I could never do that oh, or and, I want to do that. Right. And, and then the men, the men that are there with their girlfriends don't want to laugh too hard at you because they don't, you know, then the girlfriends are like, why are you laughing at her? You know, and it's then it's, it's a whole thing. Because we're here to laugh. Yeah. But nobody you know, would do that if you were laughing at Kevin Hart with your boyfriend. Absolutely not. But it's already, you know, people don't want to laugh at women. Which honestly, I feel like you should be more afraid of women laughing at like your girlfriend laughing at a comedian than than your boyfriend laughing at a comedian. Yes. Because I feel like women love comedians and they're the funny, hot, charismatic guy and their boyfriends probably yes. suck in the audience and yeah. they're stuck with them and they see the hot, like not even a hot guy, but like it's hot to them how like confident they can be yes. on stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like women would fuck male comics, whereas a lot of female comics would not fuck any of their fans. They you know, know, absolutely so not. And also I feel like female, I feel like as a, like a woman comedian, our fans aren't trying to fuck us after shows. They're not coming up being like, hey, I love that fucking bit you did about talking <laughs> about your, your pussy being so wide. You know, like they don't want to talk. They're not yeah. trying to hit on you. Mm. I mean, some of them, sometimes they do, but like not really. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's ever been an issue. It's more so people just coming up and saying, hey, that was great. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hear more like from open micers and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the open mic community is so toxic when it comes to women, I feel like. Yeah. Because especially because everyone's in that same level trying to come up. And then you like, there's like the level after you're an open micer where like you're starting getting booked on shows. Mm -hmm. So if you came up with people and you're the girl and you're getting on shows before, immediately you're undermined and they're like, it's only because you're pretty. Like they oh, right. only want to fuck you. Like it's because you have tits. Like yeah. that's why you're getting these opportunities. And it's like, well, maybe I'm getting these opportunities because I'm a better networker than you or because I am more charismatic yeah. or like because I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe because I'm actually fucking funny. Yeah. You well, know, that you can't doubt. be. Yeah, and, right, and mm -hmm. it makes I've had it a lot where I've like doubted myself where I'm like am I actually funny or are people like just booking me because I'm you're insane. filling a role or something right so that's a confusing it's a confusing thing because you do also hear like oh we need to put women on the lineup so it looks diverse and you're like so is this actually because you need women I mean mm -hmm. is it because you think I'm funny or is it just because you need a girl well here's the thing yeah. too though you have a TikTok following so like outside of comedy if you're ever like feeling that way you could be like well look at all these people on TikTok who actually yeah. think I'm funny in a different way too you know so it's like yeah that's true and you there, know there is a lot of outside validation we love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do love that. Until you start fucking losing all your followers on TikTok and then they're banning you all the time and taking down your videos. Yeah, I've, are, yeah that's fun. Anything I gain, I lose double. What the fuck? Why? I'm losing every every week. It's like a thousand followers yep, gone. Me, yeah, me too. And it's just dropping and dropping and dropping. And I can't get a video to hit anything. I No. I'm I, terrified of posting anything because it gets banned <laughs> and I'll lose my account. I can't put my stand up on TikTok because I cuss mm -hmm. so much and talk about like wild shit every time I do they take it down immediately but you then I see other people I see men doing that in stand yeah. up and they get away with it uh -huh. I'll see the oh, male yeah. podcasters and they can say whatever and then women talk about men and it's taken down for yeah. harassment and bullying we got mass reported mm -hmm. because oh. we, we said we wouldn't fuck Michael Sarah. It got 3.3 million views for on our podcast. Oh, you think page. you're better than Michael Sear? You yeah. think he'd yeah. fuck you? Yeah. So it's yeah, like these threes. But yeah. then that got, they, we had like watched eight videos after that get mass reported and they were like, you're about to lose your account. I was like, we just started our account. Like, what the hell? No. We did nothing. Uh, so we it's just so don't hard. just want to fuck one dude. 
Oh my god! It's because we have our specific type of comedy. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit more vulgar, swearing, raw, and people don't want to see women talk about that stuff. They're like, "Wait, wait, women, you're not allowed to talk about that." Yeah, what <laughs> women can't talk about baby nasty boys. things. Do yeah. I worked in the kitchen and yeah. I made my man a sandwich? Ooh, yeah. I don't think I've ever made a man a sandwich in my fucking life. Never have, never will. I will never. Oh shit! In I some don't even make myself sandwiches. Yeah, I, yeah, who eats sandwiches you know, nowadays? I'm not a sandwich person. Uh, like that. So I'm a big sandwich person. But really? I'll never make myself one. I'm a panini person. Paninis are good. Paninis, Paninis are sandwiches, slap. but sexy. Yeah, they Paninis are. are sandwiches, but sexy. They really are. <laughs> We've been just going. It's been a good conversation. Oh, we love yeah. like fucking podcasting with other podcasters because like you'll it's ask so questions easy. and you're not afraid of asking questions to us. Yeah. And so it's less of like an interview. I don't like the interview style. Where oh, it's like, yeah, neither do I. Tell it's us just like a conversation. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we love that. So it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's been nice. It's been nice to meet you too. Yeah, so nice to meet you. We've been following each other for a while. I know. On um on the social medias. On the, on the TT. Where can people find you on social media? Um, if I'm not shadow banned, you can find me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm so fucking shadow banned on that shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. My Instagram handle is Gabby Lamy, G A B B Y L A M B Y, TikTok, same thing. And that's it. And my fucking podcast, which is called Tea Time with Gabby Lamb and Harper Rose Drummond. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We hope you guys have a good week and uh, we will see you next Tuesday. Filthy fucking cunts. You cunts. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs>